freaking mess in here, people. Let's fix this. been burned out for months. Time to finally replace them. Oh god, what's the back of your head? <laughs> I saw it here because I thought it was kind of funky. Are you going to the ceiling panel? All right, it's a little dim in here, but we got the lights all put up. Brian did all the work. And this cord is so long it goes from under there all the way around the room and then back across this wall all the way. So let's see, moment of truth. The best part is there's a remote for it. So, yay! Coziness has returned. And it's more than it was before. All around cozy. And I got this shelf stocked up, even though it's not gonna stay like this. I definitely don't want the bags of pillows to stay there. But hopefully I'll sell out of those in the next couple of conventions and then never have to worry about them again. So Con Crunch is in absolute full swing and I feel kind of bad that I didn't put up a vlog last week. It's literally the first time since I was monetized in March that I didn't put up a new video. So I feel a little bit bad about that. So this one might be a little extra long to compensate, but I literally just drew last week and I'll put up some time lapses of some of my drawings, but I was on like super deadline crunch mode trying to get stuff in to manufacturers by my deadline. And I did it even though I had to, um, get rid of some of the ideas that I had because I didn't have time to do everything. Uh, but I got them all in and let me show you what I've got coming. So first up is the keychain order, which not all of this is mine. The evolutions are going to be for my table buddy, Ariel. So if you're coming to see us at Crunchyroll, be sure to stop by her booth as well. 
but um, I obviously have Stranger Things on the brain. But I want to show you these more up closely. So because I have absolute Stranger Things brain rot, uh, I decided to do little bust keychains. These are going to be two and a half inches tall um, of the four, I guess you could say, Vecna teens. Um, I left Dustin out of it because, well, I love him, but uh, I, I don't know. The, the older teens just were just too good this year. Too good. So the front is the Hawkins version, and the back is the upside down version. And it's backwards because it's going to be flipped, but it says the banished. So they each have their name on the top, and then they're like, I guess, nickname you could say on the bottom. So it's Eddie the Banished. And then we have Nancy, the badass. And then we have Robin, ah, come on, the Klutz. And last but not least, we have Steve, the babysitter. So, they're all beat up in the upside down on the back. And this gradient you see in the background, I'll put up a picture of the manufacturer file that they sent me, or the photo, because I wanted to do a sample print. But the background is going to be translucent, and it looks really cool. So, let's move on here. And then we have the Eddie Munson Protection Squad, because, again, the brain rot. So on the front, we've got Steve, Robin, Dustin, and Max. And on the back, you flip it over, and there's poor Eddie. He's so scared. I love him so much. And then moving away from Stranger Things stuff for a moment, because I will have more stickers and stuff, but I haven't made them yet. Uh, if you are a Pokemon fan, we've got Smoliv, which is one of the new Pokemon from the new Pokemon game. And there's These are going to be little tiny charms. If you're familiar with my little periwinkles, they're like... like that's a bad example. They're, they're tiny. So there's one side, and then there's the other. And then I have updated my shaker charm of the Cryptids of the U.S. map. And instead of the Wendigo, I put in the Flatwoods monster because somebody was kind enough to reach out and say, hey, Wendigo's not necessarily a cryptid. It's actually a, a sacred thing to the Native Americans. So I was like, you know what? You're right. Let's fix this. So... We now have Mothman, Bigfoot, Flatwoods Monster, the Jersey Devil, and the Fresno Nightcrawler. So those will be here for Crunchyroll. And some Spy Family. This is like my favorite thing of all time. Uh, let's take this off so you can see. So this is going to be a Shaker Charm as well. And we've got adorable Anya on the front. And on the back side of her, we have her naughty face. And then inside we have uh, Lloyd, Yor, the Chimera, Damien, Bond, and some peanuts. So I think that's going to be freaking adorable. And then we also have some washi tape, so let's look at those for a second. Now I was going to do a much bigger washi tape order than I did, but uh, funds are a little bit tight, so I thought I would just do a couple of restocks and a couple of new ones because I had to make an... I had to make a washi order anyways for the July merch box for Patreon, so let's see what we have here. So I'm restocking the pink pastel chunky ween, because I have literally one left. And then we have the Vaporwave pixelated cloud washi tape for July. And then, ooh, this is tiny. Uh, the lanyard that I did for June, the Fresno Nightcrawler, I decided would be a really good washi tape. Doing a restock of the Coffee Addict, because I have a couple left. And a new little design of some cute plant friends. So all of those are in production right now, and hopefully I'll get them by the end of the month. Now there are some things that I still need to make and also restock, but I need to do my test booth because I have half the table, which is going to be four feet. I have half the table, well it's an eight foot table, but I have four feet. And I need to see what all I can fit on that within the Crunchyroll instructions to see what I'm even able to bring. So that's next on the list. This is the sort of evening with a glass of wine and some con prep. Thank 
things I'm going to have to work with. Definitely not use that, but we're going to make it happen. my usual typical grid setup there's like a sliver of space for me this is gonna be real interesting but I guess I forgot to say we're on a corner and Ariel has been extremely kind to let me be on the corner so this is going to be the end of the table that's by the aisle so I'm gonna try and utilize that instead of putting like the plush toys up top I'll probably use the hanging baskets off the side so that saves me a little bit of like, I don't know, height, I guess, but this is gonna be interesting. And I built this one, I think, taller than I usually would because I'm gonna need to go tall so I have some more space for other things to go in front of this. We're somewhere with this and it's really tentative, but I did end up putting the taller parts up on the top of this grid tower so I could put the pillows because I knew if I was going to be facing an aisle, I may as well put something over here and the totes made the most sense. I still might like, I don't know how deep the table is. Usually they're two feet, so it might not matter, but I might put something over here. I don't know yet, but we got pretty much everything. So the enamel pin display is going to stay the same. The acrylic keychain display is going to change because I'm adding so many more designs. Uh, so that'll be a little bit bigger so that space at the bottom works out. And then the size of the shaker charm display isn't going to change but I am going to update it because it's very um, bent to hell. And you know I'm still working with a Frankenstein one so I'm going to update that. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep this, but I figure I have to display the Patreon thing somewhere, so in the front might be good. Tentative spot for the one and only lanyard in my arsenal. Uh, the Periwinkle Friends poster, tiny clear keychain, or tiny clear stickers, I'm sorry. Uh, the mystery bags, business cards, and then again, tentative, but notepads, sticker books. Um, this is a stand-in because I didn't know if I was gonna buy it or not, but I'm thinking about getting a binder where people can flip through and see like my stickers and my art prints and other stuff I'm offering. And then I might flip these two because I, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, deluxe stickers and vinyl stickers because I wanted to add more vinyl stickers so I need the extra space, but you really can't see them, so. I don't know, I don't know if I'm even gonna be allowed to set up this way because you have to be able to like see the artist, which technically you can. If you are from this side or from this side, you'll be able to see me and Ryan right there, but otherwise I'm not sure. 
I mean, you can see through the gaps. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I have so much stuff. This is why I've always, like, shied away from sharing a table. But, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I guess we'll uh, just see when the time comes. But this is what we're working with now. And I think just for the sake of not having a whole bunch of stuff to lug around, I'm not going to worry about ordering more memo pads. I'll just do that for the September cons, but, you know, we're getting somewhere. Okay, well, it's been a couple of days and I've been staring at this setup and I hate it. So we're going to try something completely new. And the new setup. I like this so much better, even though I feel like it's put together with like sticks and glue, but let's take the tour of it. Okay, so somehow I'm using less grids and I have more space to display stuff, even though I'm going to have to cram some stuff in some areas. Like I had to fit the sticker books in on the bigger wooden display, which means the prints are almost not visible at all. So if anybody's interested in them, they're going to have to sift through them. And that's just gonna be how it is. Um, but yeah, all this is like right in your face. The periwinkle poster is only slightly cut off. Like you really just can't see that one little dude back there, but you can see enough of it for somebody to assume that they're gonna wanna buy it. And then all the stickers, and then this display will be remade so that it can be horizontal. And then the other stickers, mystery bags, the washi tape gets to be displayed. So essentially I have completely nullified the need to have a binder for people to flip through to see like the sticker sheets and the prints and the washi tapes, which is better for me because I really think people are more drawn toward the tangible thing that they can see what the actual finished item is. And then down here, and these boards will all be remade, is the acrylic keychains, the enamel pins, the shaker charms. And then I forgot to note that the lanyard's hanging right here. So it's like right in view. And I have a little checkout window where you will be able to grab my business card because people always seem to miss this. So if they're standing there looking at my face, assuming I'll be standing there, they can see that. And then you come around here and you can see the periwinkle pillow and the tote bags. And this is gonna be on the corner. And again, I might still do like another set of grids right here just to have more display area. Maybe put my Patreon stuff over there. Um, but really the only items I'm not gonna be able to display are the Patreon thing, unless I do stick it over there on the corner. Uh, I'm not going to have any room to put the sticker packs because I like to keep the sticker stuff together as much as possible. And my display for the past Patreon stickers. So, and that's fine. Like that stuff doesn't move as quickly as the others do anyways. So I'm really happy with this. And then I don't have anything imposing on the side that's going to be shared with Ariel, who's gonna be over here. So, you know, if people want to just focus on her stuff, it's gonna be right there. There's not gonna be anything drawing their eye over here until they move further down the booth. So I'm really pleased with this, but I still have a lot of work to make it like actually presentable. It's a few days later and I'm like literally obsessed with this booth design, you guys. I'm so happy with it. I think I'm going to try and use this design moving forward and then just kind of configure it for bigger tables. I'm really excited. I, I'm just like, I have so much room with it and it looks nice. Like it looks good despite the, you know, wonky display boards that I'm going to fix in hopefully the next vlog. But like I'm chomping at the bit now to make this look like it's going to look at Crunchyroll, which is now two weeks out. and. The pressure has been on, but it's definitely feeling more on now. And we are on a corner booth, like I said, and our booth number is T172. We're closer to, if you're looking straight into the convention center, we're closer to the right-hand side. And I don't know what's on that side. And we're not allowed to share the tables publicly. I don't know if that's like forever, but as of right now, we can't share them on social media, which is strange. So I guess if you're gonna be there, uh, I you can look for us. I don't know. It's gonna be a very pink booth because Ariel's stuff is pink too. So before I go, 
and get back to work. I want to run down the list of things real quick. The Kickstarter ended this week. It ended on Wednesday, and I know I didn't say anything about it because um, I was busy, but it ended successfully. I ended up unlocking all of the designs, including the large pins that I added, and we ended with, I think, almost 4,900 in pledges, and that's including pre-orders. And if you missed it, they are available for pre-order on my website until I turn my shop off for conventions, which is going to be July 31st, if not August 1st, and that will be until towards the end of September. I think I'm going to reopen my shop in October. So if you want something, and I listed a couple sticker books too, so if you've been wanting sticker books, now's the time to grab it. Um, if you want something, grab it now, because I'm trying to keep as much inventory as I can for the next couple of conventions before I can restock for September shows. And also there's about a week left to pledge for the July Patreon rewards, which is the Vaporwave stuff. So the pins are on their way. The manufacturer kind of goofed on the pastel extra pins for the merch box, and they're going to be gold plated instead of rose gold plated, but they still look good, so we're going to roll with it. So. Yeah, lots of stuff going on, and I gotta get back to work, so I will see you guys next week in more Con Crunch vlogs. Bye! It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I wish you.